right, you guys, so I wanted to show you guys the difference between my tea and the green tea that you get at the store. Most of the stuff that you get at the store, it's like the bottom of the barrel tea. It's really ground, it's really fine. You can't even tell what it is. So I wanna show you guys the difference between my teas and the teas that you get at the store. So this is a bag of green tea that I got from hy V. It's just regular green tea. And another thing about these tea bags that people need to watch for is that they bleach these and they make these white, they bleach them. And that's almost like drinking bleach in your tea. So it's not healthy to drink from white tea bags. If you do choose to drink from tea bags, get the ones that are brown, that are natural, that don't have any dyes included. This is what I use to like boil like big things of tea when I wanna make like iced tea and stuff like that. I use these type of bags. These white bags are not good for you at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. I'm gonna show you guys the difference between this tea here and my tea. So this is the tea that you get at your local store. And as you can see, it's just ground. You can't even tell what it is. It looks like a bunch of just crud. So I hate store-bought tea, okay? So that's how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what mine looks like. This is one of my um, favorites. This is our chocolate chai tea. And with this, you can see real chunks of white chocolate in there. Like, it's real chocolate pieces, real chunks of white chocolate. So you can see the difference in that compared to that. I mean, it's like a whole, you know, five sizes bigger. I'm gonna also show you guys a sample of our lavender berry tea. You guys can see that here. There's all types of berries in there. I mean, it looks really, really good. So that's the main difference between my tea. You're gonna get whole leaf teas. You can see everything that's in there. Like here you can see the white chocolate chips. You can see the green tea leaves. Here you can see the blueberries. You can see, you know, the lavender flowers right here. You can see a lot of different things. Whereas this is green tea and you don't know what it is. It's just a bunch of ground up mess. So I'm gonna show you how you guys can make loose leaf green tea. My favorite way to make my teas is that I use a mesh ball. And the cool thing is usually my mesh ball is round, but I ended up finding a distributor that was able to make one heart-shaped because my name is Lovely Tea. So I have these really dope heart-shaped mesh balls right here. And this is what I use to make my loose leaf tea. When you order them, you guys will get them packaged and everything like this. And then I also have one here that's like an umbrella. So you can get like different shapes, but I wanted the heart um, because it goes with me, it goes with my brand. And the cool thing about this is that it, you know, you can put plenty of tea in here. There's room for it to expand. Um, it's stainless steel, it's dishwasher safe, and it's reusable. So that's the best part. You don't have to worry about, you know, using the tea bag one time and throwing it away. So this is how I make my loose leaf tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one teaspoon of lavender berry, and that's all you need. You're able to make 20 cups of tea with my tea packets with 50 grams. And this is how my tea looks. And on the back, everything is clear, so you can see exactly what you're getting. This is the Mandarin Orange Rubis Tea. So this is really good. There's orange pieces in here and everything else. So once you have the tea in the heart-shaped tea ball, you're just gonna go ahead and close it up and you're gonna snap it into place. And then you're just gonna put it into a cup here. And then just pour your hot water. And you're gonna just let it seep. And there will be pieces, you know, floating around you know, if you're a tea connoisseur, you don't mind. You're used to like drinking little pieces of tea leaves and bark and stuff like that. But if you want a double strain, you can definitely do that. But this is the best way to drink tea at home because you're not having to deal with any of this bleach paper. You know, you want to be as safe as possible. So that's the way I like to do it. And then when I'm ready to drink it, um, if it's too much floating on there, then what I'll do, I'll double strain. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. It's been seeped, it's been about three minutes. You can see how dark the tea is. And there's some loose leaf in there. So if you don't feel comfortable yet, if you're not a tea connoisseur yet, what you can do is double strain. And so you're just gonna pour the tea into a small strainer, like such. Put the tea ball back into a different cup. And you can just see like the little pieces of loose leaf that's right here. And now, when you look in here, you have nothing but tea. There's nothing floating around. 
So it just depends on how you like your tea. Some people like stuff floating around, some people don't. So if you want a double strain and you have time, you're at home, that's all you have to do. If not, you can get an on-the-go tea bottle if you don't want a double strain at all. So that's how I make my tea here. And these mesh balls are on sale on the website. Like I said, these are nice. You can use them over and over again. You don't have to worry about using them one time and then throwing them away. Nor do you have to worry about, you know, the unsafetiness of these bleach tea packets that come in the store.